Hey, it's Dustin from Dallas, Texas, delivering a bunch of airplane tires. You're watching TJV on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, weasel! I was napping. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, isn't that exciting? You are super lame. Well, we're actually getting started a little bit down the road. We're at our uh, little stop off here before Brandon. We're on our way to Swift Current again with another one of these long loads behind us. Let me show you. Let's go. I've been struggling all morning with SD cards. For some reason, my SD cards eventually always conk out on me. And uh, it always just says SD card error needs to be formatted. But I can't format it. It, it won't, it's unformatable. Un, unformatable. You can't format it anymore is what the computer and GoPros are telling me. So it's just junk. I guess after a while the SD cards just get old because I use them a lot every day and uh, it's kind of annoying because I, I like to get the good ones and before I take them out of the computer I always try to remember to remove it properly tell the computer that I want to remove it and oh well I don't know what's going on but here's the load we'll get my ugly mug out of there you need a thumbnail here right away is eh? There you go, that's a winner. Think that'll get me the views if I put that as a thumbnail? Well, chances are high. So we have the trombone trailer again. She's stretched out. We're at uh, 85 feet unit, plus a little bit of overhang. My permits, once again, allow me to go up to 30 meters or 98 feet. So here we go, having fun. Some people have told me like, you know, I want to stretch the wheelbase on my truck, right? And some people have told me, oh, you, you can't go over 75 feet in Manitoba. Yes, you can. You just need a permit. We have an annual blanket permit for this kind of stuff. So you pay it once a year. Uh, what was the cost of it? Was it 150 bucks? Was it more than that? I don't remember exactly, but yeah, it's a blanket permit, lasts for the whole year, and it allows you to be over length up and including, up to and including 30 meters. Which in uh, Freedom Units is 98 and a bit feet. Mm. Got a different oversized load sign on the back. I used a different one today. I want to get a, another one eventually that matches my front one. Uh, the front one is really nice. Not as nice as the sounds of those wheels humming down the highway. How many wheels would that be? That's a Super B. So it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the truck. And then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 30 wheeler. Did I get that right? I don't know. I can't count. I'm not a mathematician. I'm not a scientist. Here you go. Oh, maybe this would be a good thumbnail. Oh, now I got choices. Oh, no. The camera angle here and the fisheye lens makes it look like that's hanging way over. But without the fisheye lens, I mean, you can tell it's... I don't know that bad. Okay, let's keep going. I want to get to Swift Current tonight yet. I'll be dropping this off in the same yard where I dropped the last one off, just right beside the other pile or in the same area there. Uh, it's all part of the same load. It took two, two trips to do it. So I guess it's two loads, same order, I guess. So I'll be there tonight, quickly dump it on the ground, turn around, come back home for the weekend. Go see some fireworks, Canada Day weekend. At least they better have fireworks. 
I've heard rumors of them canceling fireworks. That would make me very upset. You have to have fireworks on Canada Day. All these people. Fireworks are bad, okay? No, they're not. No, they're not. That's a scientific fact. Fireworks are awesome. All the time. Especially on Canada Day and July 4th for our neighbors to the south. Ours is just a few days earlier on July 1st. Yours is on July 4th. But this is the weekend where North America is supposed to be just fireworks everywhere, right? Starts in Canada on the 1st and then a few days later on the 2nd America just lights up the fireworks. Why are people saying that fireworks are bad now? This is like we shouldn't be celebrating. What are you talking about we shouldn't be celebrating? Miserable people, tell you what. They don't want anybody to be happy. Be happy. So I had a backup SD card that I have for this very reason. Uh, but it's my last one, so I need to go and pick up new SD cards again. I like to have the 128 gig ones. They, they uh, last a long time. The one I have now only fits like 20 minutes of footage. So my vlogs are about 20 minutes, right? But I film an hour's worth every day approximately, and I gotta whittle that down. So I like to have it all on one SD card, but with this smaller one, I always, like halfway through my day or twice a day, I have to go and move the files onto the computer to make room for them. Let's go. I'm glad that the guy that was parked here moved. Because this guy parked there and another guy parked here facing the other way. And no one could get through. <laughs> You gotta wonder, like, one of them was there first, right? And then the other one knowingly parked right there and blocked off the entire roadway for everybody. And just pulled the brakes and I like, went to sleep. Like, you gotta wonder, like, what were they thinking? Like, you, you clearly blocked the road and you just, you didn't notice or you did notice and you just didn't care. Which one was it? Both are not very good. This guy's out here all by himself. That way we can get around here. I know it's kind of confusing. Because there's no signs telling us which sides to park on, right? But it's just common sense, just don't block the road. <laughs> common sense is not very common. I'm sure all of you know that already. It really isn't, it's, it's alarming actually, it's worrisome. There's a lot of people out there and these people can vote. And they drive cars on the highway. They live amongst us and nobody is like supervising them. <laughs> okay, I, I really feel some people just should have a chaperone. Just like a, like, a, a, like a, a worker following them around or something. Like, you know, just making sure that <laughs> nothing, nothing goes out of the order, you know? What can you do though, right? That's just the way some people are. Some people just weren't taught. Or they were taught and they just don't care. That's the worst. That's the worst. When you find someone or when someone around you does something like really dumb and you know they know better and you know that they know that they know better and you know that they know that they're in the wrong, but yet they turn around and get mad at you and blame you when you call them out. And then they blame you for their problems when it is so clear that it is their own doing. Like, too many people out there like that. Too many people. But we won't talk about them, they just make me upset. Let's get this lumber out to Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, Saskaskabush. Go and say hello to our Saskatchewan -er friends, Saskatchewanites, Saskatchewanonians. What do you guys call yourselves? Saskatchewaners? Saskatchewans? Saskatchewanians. No, really, I just thought of that. What do they call themselves? You're from Saskatchewan. I'm from Manitoba. I'm a Manitoban. My cousin is from Alberta. They're Albertan. You're from Saskatchewan. You're Saskatchewanan? Saskatchewaner? 
Now I gotta figure this out. I need to know. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you call them? Or what do you call yourselves? Let's ask the good people of Saskatchewan. They should be answering this because they know these things. They live there. What do you call yourself? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's get on the road here. Get on the road. Get on the road. On the road again. Put on my please don't hit me flashers. Dun, dun, dun. Continue on this road. Stay in the slow lane. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Number one, West. No, no, you're number one. Diesel, that sign called me number one. You're not funny, man. Seriously. Not funny. You missed the gear. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Diesel. I laugh at you all I want. You're a funny guy. Funny looking. <laughs> my dog makes fun of me. It's supposed to be my friend. This thing never gets in my way. You guys are wondering if it hits the steering wheel. It doesn't hit the steering wheel, it doesn't hit me in the face, but it does sit like right between me and my e-log and my whole system here. But minor detail, doesn't matter. 35.98 liters per 100 kilometers. Liters per 100 kilometers in US miles per gallon. Remember, I'm talking about US gallons when I say gallons. 6.537. 6.5, 6.5 miles per gallon, and that's good, that's my target, if I can get higher than that, that's great, but that's where I, uh, that's where I shoot for, so 
around about 36 liters per 100 kilometers is what I shoot for. And that was good. It's been a good trip. There. All right, just a little bit further to go. Should be there before sunset. Should be quicker today because I'm just dumping this down beside the other one. Buttoning up the trailer and headed back. I'll probably make it back to here again, I'm thinking, to Balgoni. I'd like to spend the night here because I'm going to have a shower. In 300 meters, turn right on Highway 46 and then, at the roundabout, take the first exit. ever heard of the town called Rush Lake in Saskatchewan? In order to get here, you gotta rush. Uh, but when you get here, you realize there's no lake. So you rush to the lake that is near, it's Rush Lake. <laughs> I guess there's a little lake over there according to the GPS. It's like a pond. It's a tiny little town in Saskatchewan. It's a tiny little prairie town. You guys gotta see this. I went through this the other day. We gotta go down the gravel road here about 10 miles. But first, we gotta go through this gem of a little town. It's all gravel roads once you get to town. Got a post office, RM of Excelsior. And here comes Main Street. They have a Rush Lake Community Hall there. A bunch of mailboxes. This is a true like pioneer frontier town. There's my load from Monday. Once it's just south of that, so I'm gonna go around and put it on that side of that load. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around this side. Oh, let's not hit those metal bars there. I'm gonna go in front of it and then back up a little bit. Or maybe I'll just put it down right here. He said just south of it. I'll put it down here. So there's this load. There's the load from Monday over there. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna put it. He said just south. I don't leave them room to get through here with a tractor yet. Okay. Let's set her down then. Got the axle slid up, got all of my equipment taken off. Just gotta tilt it up and we're gonna drop it down. I'll show you from the other side so that the get better lighting from the sun. But first I gotta lift up the trailer here. Lift it up on the fifth wheel here with a little lever. Make it. I 
So I'm gonna go put you on the other side and come around here. I'm gonna unlock the rollers and we'll drive out from underneath it and it'll slide off like butter, just like the last one on Monday. came off beautifully even the dunnage stayed underneath there so they can get under it with their forks on their forklifts or equipment perfect doesn't get any better than that okay let's pack up the trailer and let's blow this popsicle stand Let's go home. I'm done work now. I'm literally just taking this trailer back and going home for an extra long weekend. There better be fireworks. Just saying. I'm really all worked up about it. I'm really excited for fireworks. I heard someone saying that they, I don't know, rumors that they weren't going to have fireworks. Wouldn't that be crazy? Why wouldn't you have fireworks on Canada Day? That was wonderful, man. Wonderful, really good job. Very nice. Thanks, Diesel. Ready to rock. And we got the wind at our back. It's coming out of the west, pushing us home. I uh, hope that continues through tomorrow as well. I'm not gonna get home tonight yet. I got 24 minutes left on my clock. 13 hours of driving and almost used all of it. I am ready to lay my head down. I sure hope that there's parking here. I swung in in Moose Jaw at the Petro Pass truck stop and the Flying J there and there was no parking. People were parking all over the place already. be some spots here there always is you have arrived at your destination on the right side flying j travel plaza oh my look at these guys double parking here again they do this every time and then if there's spots here to my right which there probably is no one can get into them because these guys are double parked over here yep there is spots there isn't there yep but i I might not be able to get into them because this guy's parked here. Well, I can definitely get into some of these. Come on, get in the gear there. There you go. Look at all these open spots. And these guys are blocking everybody. Alright, I'm going to find a spot and uh, catch up with you then.